Welcome back friends, welcome to Rise Study Solutions. Let's discuss the relation of middle term with the arithmetic sequence. Look here, a picture of your right hand is shown and you know that this is your middle finger, isn't it? So, you are playing a sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and you want to know the middle term of the sequence. It's given already here, just imagine it is not given. So how will you calculate the middle term? without knowing the middle term. You take the first term and the fifth term and you will add the sum of it and you take the half of it and you will get the middle term or you add the second term and the fourth term and take the half of it and you will get the middle term. Look here. 2 plus 4 equal to 6 and the half of 6 equal to 3. 1 plus 5 equal to 6 and the half of 6 equal to 3. In all these cases, you can easily calculate the middle term because it has the same distance to the right and to the left of the terms we are considering. Okay, take another example 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. You may take this example and imagine that this 7 is not given here and you want to find the middle term. That is, you take the first term and the fifth term because it, it has equal distance apart from the middle term in the right side and the left side. So 3 plus 11 equal to 14. 14 by 2 equal to 7. Or you may take 5 plus 9. That's equal to 14. And the half of 14 is equal to 7. Or take another example that is minus 10, minus 12, minus 14, minus 16, minus 18. This is also an arithmetic sequence, isn't it? With the common difference minus 2. If this middle term is not given here, how will you calculate? I told you before, this sum of these two terms, that is minus 10 plus minus 18. That's equal to minus 28. And the half of minus 28 is equal to minus 14. Or the second term plus the fourth term, that is equal to minus 12 plus minus 16, that's equal to minus 28 and the half of minus 28 is equal to minus 14. Is that clear to you now? Okay, we may write that A, B, C, D, E are arithmetic sequence and C is equal to, C means the middle term is equal to A plus E by 2 because A and E has the same distance apart from this middle term because two terms left and two terms right, isn't it? So, A plus E by 2 is equal to C or B plus D by 2 is equal to C. It's equal in such cases. Okay, to make more easily understandable, I will tell you an example. Just imagine I give you a piece of cloth. This is a piece of cloth. And I'm telling you to fold it. And I want if you how will you find the middle part of a piece of cloth? That is, imagine this is two side A and B. If you want to find the middle part, you will just fold this and take the half of it. So we can write A plus B by two. Isn't it? By two means taking the half of it. Okay, let's find the relation of with the sum of arithmetic sequence. As I mentioned before, you know that the equation to find sum of arithmetic sequence equal to n by 2 into a plus l. I told you before. And what is a plus l? The first term plus the last term. Here you can rewrite that n into a plus l by 2 because if this 2 is shifted to this term the value will not change so you may rewrite this a plus l by 2 so what is this a plus l by 2 first term plus last term by 2 which means the middle term isn't it as I mentioned earlier first term plus last term by 2 equal to the middle term so if you know the middle term of a sequence you can easily calculate the sum of n terms.
that is n into the middle term you may write a n by 2 which means the middle term so if you know the middle term and the number of sequence you can easily calculate the sum of the arithmetic sequence take this take one example that is the example of 3 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 if you want to find the sum of these terms how will you find look here 5 plus 3 equal to 8 plus 7 equal to 15 plus 9 equal to 24 plus 11 is equal to 35 isn't it look we know that the sum of this term is equal to 35 and 7 is the middle term here isn't it so how many terms exist 1 2 3 4 5 so 7 into 5 equal to also equal to 35 so this is the easiest way to calculate the sum of n terms of an arithmetic sequence or you may write what is n here n by 2 into a plus l and what is n here 5 by 2 into a means the first term equal to 3 plus the last term equal to 11 so 14 so you may write 5 by 2 into 14 that's also equal to 35 so this is the easiest way to find the n term of a sequence that is number of terms into the middle term so i hope it is clear to you